Hello, welcome to the crafting table. We're back here in Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Oh, forgot what the buttons were there for a second. We're here in Chalimber's Crown. We're gonna be working our way over to the actual keep itself. Just gonna take out these lizard folk. Attack speed's really nice. Combat reflexes. It's really working out in our favor here. throwers, powder satchel throwers, and definitely them too, man. That poison's no joke, it slows you down, so when it, when it, oh jeez, when it tick it has a chance to, you know, knock you around a bit. Oh, nice little piece of gear to pick up. Some nice syllables. Probably head back, pick up some more arrows, sell some stuff, clean out our inventory a bit. You have returned. Is Didn't really pick much up in the last couple bits there. Uh, a few more. Okay, and then. Maybe a few of these, a few of these. Oh, I may have just made a mistake. Oh wait, no, I still have a recall potion, okay. <laughs> I didn't have any more recall potions, that would have been terrible. I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy. Get that to put down some some AOE damage. these guys uh, really hit you. They, they hit you for quite a bit. Alright, 
I always usually go right here, so I'm gonna keep to what I know and usually do. That was a mistake, running up on me like that. Get out of here. Pretty key. Uh, it's going to be pretty key in extreme difficulty to keep our distance as best as we can. To be able to lay down as much as much damage downrange as we can. Don't want to get caught out, especially on extreme difficulty. Every enemy has a really high potential of. Seeing you off the mortal plane, as it were. Pretty good though. Doing pretty good here. Just gotta be careful of some of these. Some of these ranged enemies. See, like that took off a lot of health right there. I don't think it'll matter too much later on um, what exactly we pick up. Since in extreme difficulty, you, you, none of your stuff transfers. You start down to basics again. That's where the that's where the problem with extreme difficulty on the archer lies. Because ranged weapons don't drop as often as you would like them to. Oh, we already got this one. the merchants the merchants do not sell one single ra ranged weapon, at least not that I've seen right, where'd that where'd that shaman go there he is Both trying to get me with those poison clouds. And you don't. places of art going do let's see 
what do we got? We have ice arrows. Let me give those a try here a little bit. better a little bit later. I'm probably going to dump some more points into them. So we're going to have some enemies we have to fight. Uh, I can't remember exactly what they're called or how it's pronounced. But it's spelled B-U... If I remember right, it's B-U-L-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Bullet or bullet. Something like that. But they're burrowing, and yeah, they're pretty brutal. They hurt a lot. <laughs> they do a lot of damage. And they can do it in a very, very short amount of time. Not even with just one hit. Like, several hits at once. In rapid succession. Like, these guys can hurt. And sometimes they can have a really really large hit, kind of takes you off guard. And these ones, they can hit very quickly, as well as do a lot of damage really quickly, and if you're not careful, you get staggered. That's the word I was looking for a little earlier. Uh, you get, oh, yeah, see that, that actually did a, quite a bit of damage there. But you can get staggered into um, just really bad cycle, and you end up perishing fairly quickly. I was going to run out and attack him with my scimitar, but he went down faster than that, so... Now, kind of the advantage we're going to have against these enemies coming up in the next... Let's see, it's not the next spot, and it's not the spot after. It's the next level after that. You'll, I'll let you know when it happens. Probably not going to happen this episode. We are going to be basically hunting in every single spot we can find to get as much experience points before that. But the, the advantage we do have is that when they're burrowing, either going coming up from or going down into the ground, you can just you can just pour damage on them. So you kinda have a little bit of leeway and a little bit of time for for reaction. Looks like we're already starting to run out of arrows again. Alright, let's get over in this little alcove here and go ahead and go grab some more arrows, sell some stuff. Standard fare, basically. You have returned. Let's check it out. Yeah, so I think this bow is the best bow you can buy currently. And you notice how I haven't found any other any other short bows or anything of that of that type. So you can see the predicament you end up being in in extreme difficulty. I'm still going to play Extreme Difficulty. But it can become kind of an issue. We're going to have to like rely on uh, melee for a really long time. Because um, some of the bows you can get are just garbage. Um, although you can just use your enchanted abilities, enchanted arrow abilities, 
your different arrow spells to boost that damage, at least initially. Oh wow, three critical hits in a row. Take that, indeed. behind me. Oh yeah, took one right to the back of the head. Very good. And the more health the, uh, the enemy is missing, the slower they become with that, with that ice effect. slow he is right there. He's, he's just about, yeah, there it is. He was really close to being done for. Alright, I know I saw another enemy over here. Where'd you go? There you are. Pretty good over here thus far. No real close calls quite yet. The biggest place that'll be the uh, <laughs> the largest amount of trouble, obviously, will be the Onyx Tower later on. Whoa! Look out! There's not a whole lot of hiding places in there. Like you can't really use terrain to your advantage too much in that in that zone. Which is probably good. I mean, it is the ending spot in the game. Last last levels of the game is that place, so should be tough. <clears throat> However, the final boss, I'm not really sure if that's going to give us too many problems. Um, they're not that difficult, or. Well, maybe a little difficult for this character because I'm gonna have to switch between. I'm gonna have to switch between arrows. I'm gonna have to switch weapons often. There, set it a bit. I'm gonna have to switch between my shield and my bow pretty often in that fight just because of how the fight's set up. If you're far away, you get ranged attacked. If you're close, you get rapid melee attacked, and all of which can one-shot you pretty pretty handily. So it looks like we're done with Chalimber's Crown. We're going to be doing coming up on the Fortress Entrance, the Ramparts or something like that. Outer Keep, that's it. All right, Outer Keep. Pretty easy spot, um, you know. Complexity-wise, it's actually fairly a fairly simple area. There's these little causeways that lead to these larger kind of rampart areas. And there's pretty much enemies on every single section out here.
where I can save arrows, right? Probably could have saved some right there, too. section now. Clear out this spot. Quite a few enemies over here. More of the same, though. Isn't that exciting? basically frozen in place at that point. Just a morning star of disruption. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for some pluses or bonuses on it. I've been kind of rolling with the same scimitar since Act 2, so. Kind of looking for an upgrade. We could always try and save some money and buy one. It takes a tad bit longer to save up, save up cash with the archer just because you do have to. You do have to worry about arrows, but. Arrows usually aren't that expensive. There you go. But we have had to buy healing potions and the like. So. Ah, dang it. He was able to see me even through that kettle. basically headed back to the beginning of the zone here. But since there's more enemies, that's where we're going. Treasure. That always is helpful. Loot and treasure. Stuff and gold. Get a hit in. <laughs> Another big ol' two-handed weapon that I'm not gonna be using. 
All right, made it back. Let's work our way back around. Not that much longer on this area. We'll be making our way inside the keep. Performing quite admirably. Whoa, look out. Hey. Shit. He got a hit in, but it wasn't that. Not a very palpable hit, as it were, so. Okay. Yeah, we got quite a bit of gear here. Uh, we'll try and use up the last of the arrows before heading back, but we might have to head back soon. Saved a few arrows there. He's trying to use my strategy against me. Stand behind something and shoot. <laughs> Look out. Whip. Gotcha. Tricked ya. Basically, does it for our space in our inventory. You have returned. All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. Let's see what we're sitting on as far as gold. Let's see if we can see if we can buy anything special. We definitely need arrows, so we're gonna do that first. How many arrows we got? That's good. Yeah, one more. Okay. Melee weapons. Let's see. Can't afford that, but we could afford it if we sold what we have. Now, it's got more damage, but not as much in the way of chance to hit. That's the only issue there. So we might honestly just stay with this melee weapon until we get to the Onyx Tower. The Onyx Tower will have loads of melee weapons for us to choose from. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep going with what we got right now. And we might even find a uh, might even for, find uh, blah 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 blah. I can't even speak today. We might find more options upcoming here in the keep here. So. Poison. There you go. Get your poison out of here. Nah, not you. Not you again.
actually kind of lucked out right there. Stay down. All right, let's see if there are any more enemies. Not this way. Yeah, we got one right here. fighters. Where'd you all come from? Oh, look out. <laughs> I almost just stood there and did nothing about it. Oh my goodness, there's just somebody booby trap in this place. Looks like that is it for today. Thanks for stopping by and checking out Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, have a great night, everyone.